Being a medical student and somewhat of a workaholic, I'm always trying to make handwritten notes despite having an iPad. This led me on a journey to find something that fused both digital and handwritten notes. For that, we have the Rocketbook Wave. This is the world's first smart notebook. So let me tell you why this will be the last notebook you will ever need. The Rocketbook Wave is the world's first smart notebook, planner and whiteboard. Use it any way you want, whether it's at home, school or at work. Essentially, it's a notebook that can be used as a pen and paper, but it has iCloud backup and you can use it an unlimited number of times. Let me explain. So how does it work? I'm sure you thought of that question. It's simple. If you make a mistake, you wipe it off with a wet cloth and start over. For my particular version, you fill up a mug of water for about two thirds and you place it on top of the notebook. You put it in the microwave for about a few minutes and then bam, you got a new notebook. Literally, it's the last notebook you'll ever need. Plus, with the Rocketbook app, you can instantly transform your notes and sketches into digital format. This is great for students because that means you can send your notes to your email, Google Drive, Dropbox, or Evernote. Or you can even share them with friends and family. This is literally a student's dream come true. So what makes it different from other notebooks? There's a lot of reasons, but just to name a few, you can reuse the notebook an unlimited number of times. Also, it's got cloud backup, which means it's got great app integration with Evernote, Dropbox, Google Drive, and and it's compatible with Windows, Apple and Android. You can use it as a regular notebook with pen and paper. You can even use friction highlighters with it. And lastly, the fact that you can have a paperless office saves you a lot of time, money and I suppose it's really good for the environment. Now the only downside is that you have to use a special pen to write on it and you have to use their proprietary app to make the most of it. But then again, the pens are widely available and they're quite cheap and the app works amazing. Therefore, the pros, I would say, definitely outweigh the cons. Now, you might be wondering, who's this for? It's for everyone, whether you're a student, creative, or someone who just likes to stay organized. This is an easy to use and affordable notebook. It's perfect for capturing ideas and information in a quick, easy, and stylish way. Now, it's particularly useful for those who want to jot down thoughts and ideas on the go. For example, people who do journaling, or maybe medical students who are making notes whilst clerking patients in the ward. It really makes it super easy and a seamless experience to be a digital person, as well as being able to write by hand which can be nostalgic for some, especially those from a younger generation. So as for the paper, it's called quarter paper. It's made from a blend of natural and recycled materials that does not let ink seep through to the other side, which is really important for me. It's made from a smooth, non-scratchy textured material that feels premium to the touch, so you can bet they didn't skimp on quality here. The brand has been gaining traction recently, and for a good reason. It's the perfect way to keep your notes organized and accessible for you at all times. Now my take on it, I find this product very innovative and interesting. It makes it easy to take notes in class and the whole app integration thing it just makes it super useful for homework assignments and projects as for the cloud backup it's a big plus this means my notes can get lost or damaged so in the world of smart notebooks this is the last notebook you'll ever need so that's it for today guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and do check out my blog it's in the description below and if you've got any suggestions for any videos leave them in the comments below i'll try to get to them otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one